Imagine being someone who is so important to the world, but doesn't know it. Carbella was a very kind, energetic being that only had kindness in her heart. Since she was so kind, she wanted to share her gifts of carbon to the world. Ah, jeez. I have all this carbon, but there's no one else here! Well, I guess I'll go down to Earth and see who I can share some of this carbon with. Thinking about this, Carbella decided that she should first give her gift to the atmosphere. Hi, atmosphere. Um, hey. My name is Carbella, and I came to give you gifts. Oh, what kind of gifts? Carbon, of course. I know you've got a lot of nitrogen, so I want to share my carbon with you. Oh, thanks, Carbella. That's real nice of you. <laughs> I really don't need any more carbon, but I don't want to let this go to waste. Oh, I know. I can give it to Tree. She always knows what to do with these useless gifts. Tree then turned around with the new gift that Atmosphere gave to her. She thought it was quite useless. It didn't sparkle, glow, or shine. Well, this is pretty useless. Thanks, Atmosphere. Struck with inspiration, Tree pulled out her rolls of washi tape, along with some borax and glue. Yay! Time to DIY! I'm glad Atmosphere took my carpet, but I still have so much to give! Wait a second. Tree, are you there? Hold on one sec. Okay, but hurry. I've got something for you. Hi, Tree. Hey, Carbell. You smell good today. Hi, Soul. Um, Carbella, you're hugging me too hard. I can't breathe. Oh, my bad. But here you go. How do you like it? You like it, right? You don't like it? No, what? This is... Wow, this is so cool, dude. I mean, Atmosphere gave me this earlier, but... Wait, Atmosphere what? But this gift, uh, it's super rad. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. I have more gifts to deliver, so I'll see you later. Totally, girl. Oh, by the way, follow me on the gram, tap my notification bell, and smash that like button. Oh, Tree posted a new video. Wait, already? Hey, what's up, you guys? Yes, well, today we're going to be doing a life hack slash DIY of turning carbon into oxygen. Okay, that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure to tap that notification bell, smash that like button, and tag three friends you feel love this DIY. Saddened by Tree's disregard of her gift, Carbella went to a human and tried to give them her carbon. Oh, hey, look! A th thing! I'm gonna give my carbon to it. Hello, I am Carbella. And what might you be? Uh, hi. I am a human. Wow, that's super interesting. So you're not related to trees in the slightest? Yeah, I guess. Well, I am here to gift you with this carbon. Shall you take this most generous gift? Uh, sure. So, how exactly do I take this carbon? I don't know, just breathe it in, I guess. That sounds like a safe plan. <gasps> you are welcome. <coughs> Human? Okay, um, um, I, we'll leave this here, I guess. After committing involuntary manslaughter, Carbella decided to try one more time to give away her gift to someone. Hey, factory. I have a gift for you. Uh, hi, Carbella. I already have some carbon. Too much, in fact. What? Where did you get my carbon? No, no, no. It was in the ground. The ground gave me the carbon. There's enough down there to make your gift useless. How could you have possibly gotten my gift from the ground? Well, your gift is not necessarily unique, you know? There's a whole layer there's whole layers and deposits of it way under the earth. You've never heard of the term fossilization? Wait, so you're saying my gift is accessible to everyone? Well, yes, but you get it from the ground. Takes thousands of years. Well, the carbon that I have, I can give to you right now. Not a bunch of years. Plus, you save time by, I don't know, not digging. Why not just take what I can give you? Even if I wanted to, I can't accept your gift as it is. I need to be able to touch it. A more useful gift you could have given me would be oil or coal. I don't really have any need for a gift like that. That's why I blow stuff up. I mean, humans love it, partner. And I just give the, my carbon back to the ungrateful atmosphere who's not happy with it. Hmm. All right. Well, I can see that you obviously have no need for me. 
No, it's okay. No, it's fine. Whatever. It's not like I was trying to be nice or anything. I'm not taking your carbon. <laughs> No one wants my stupid carbon. I was just trying to be all nice and cool. I only just want to spread my gift to others, yet they either ignore it, call it useless, give it to someone else, or die. But why, though? How can they all just not want it? There has to be something connecting them. I just need to figure out what. Wait a second. When I gave Atmosphere his gift, he sounded like he already had too much carbon. So, I mean, I guess that's why he gave it to Tree. If he gave it to Tree, that explains why Tree was not so enthusiastic to receive it. I mean, at least she ultimately used it to make oxygen. Oxygen, the stuff that humans need! And holy heck, I killed a human by making him inhale carbon instead of oxygen! But I guess all that carbon is still in his body. And it's probably still in other humans and animals that have died. Oh, that's what Factory was talking about. After thousands of years, the carbon is buried way deep in the earth, and the factory blows up and gives the carbon back to the atmosphere. I guess, in the end, my gifts weren't entirely useless. Every one of my friends needed and used my carbon. In fact, my carbon is really important. Without it, who knows how different things would be here. And so, Carbella learned that she was not a nuisance or useless as she thought she was. In fact, she and her gifts were of utmost importance and helped the world go round. And so, Carb... And so, Carbella learned that she was not a nuisance or useless as she thought she was. In fact, she and her gifts were of utmost importance and helped the world go round.